What's up, guys? I'm Captain Mike, and welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. Appreciate you watching us here on YouTube all over the world. Um, we've got a fantastic audience, and we can't thank you all enough for all of your support over the years. Listen, a lot of great new content coming up. Hopefully, you've been with us for more than a decade. Um, but again, I want to tell you a lot of great, fresh content coming up. You're going to love it. All sorts of different fisheries and venues uh, throughout the Florida Keys and beyond. Deep dropping, dolphin fishing, reef fishing, permit. Oh gosh, all kinds of stuff. So I know you're going to love it. Stay tuned for all of that. Right now, though, we're going to talk about wahoo fishing. We're going to talk about high-speed wahoo fishing. You know, here in the Keys, I've dialed in the deep, the deep diving plugs, and I have a lot of success trolling the Nomad deep diving plugs. Really enjoy it. Going to continue to do that. However, there's another way. There's more than one way to skin a cat, right? High-speed trolling is perhaps the most effective or arguably the most effective means of catching wahoo and has certainly taken more wahoo over the years than probably all other tactics combined, at least to date. Um, and what we're talking about is pulling big lures behind big heavy trolling legs on big tackle at a high rate of speed covering a lot of ground looking for those sizzling bites. Okay, that's what it's about. Um, but it requires that you really pay close attention to the details. Success requires that. Otherwise, it's going to be a very frustrating experience. You're going to spend a lot of money. You're going to blow a lot of time. You're going to blow a lot of bites. And you're going to hate yourself forever. So don't let that happen, for starters. Okay, And we're not going to let that happen. So pay close attention to what I'm about to tell you. Okay, it all starts with tackle. Look, there's a lot of different gear that you can use to high-speed troll for Wahoo, okay? I mean, the list goes on. Everybody has their preference. You could fish braid. You could fish mono. You could fish single-strand wire. There's guys that are still doing that as well. Um, there's guys that are fishing the big heavy-duty Lingren Pittman S1200s, you know, the electric reels in areas where the sharks are so ferocious, if you don't get that wahoo to the boat as quickly as possible, he's going to get sharked, and that's going to be that. Um, do you need that in areas like Bimini or the Florida Keys where, you know, every now and then, you know, one might get sharked, but certainly not like the out islands there. I guess it's just a matter of personal preference. I like the manual gear. I find that the Tiagra 30s or 50 wides are just perfect reels for this application. A lot of line capacity, loud clicker, silky smooth drag. Uh, the two speed is a beautiful benefit. The torque is unbelievable. Fast retrieve, just everything you're looking for in the perfect Wahoo reel. It's matched to a Chaos Gold Rodzilla 50 to 130 pound class stand up rod, bent butt putting a rod holder clipped in with a big game leash. My outfit's not going anywhere. Reels loaded with just a ton, a ton of line of diamond braid, 65 pound yard line. I stress that word yard line. This line changes color every 50 feet, but two colors, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue. You get it. And that makes a huge difference out on the water when setting our trolling spread, a huge difference. Regardless if you're fishing alone with a group that you're just fishing with for the first time or people that and a crew that you have fished with for a lifetime. Being able to quickly and efficiently position my trolling spread precisely where I want each, each lure, each bait, without question, is a huge benefit. And it's one of the many benefits that I want to share with you about high-speed trolling and about some of the things that we do, how we set the spread and stagger our lures behind the boat. I want you to learn it all. In order to do so, I need for you to make a quick little switch, watch the rest of this seminar, Warp Speed Wahoo on Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus. Look, it's our streaming channel. There are no YouTube ads. There are hundreds of instructional videos categorized to make it simple for you to find exactly what you're looking for. It will help you shorten the learning curve. And how about this for a membership benefit? How about a 24 seven fishing helpline? Look, 24 seven, I don't care what you're doing, where you are, what you're doing, email me any question related to saltwater fishing and boating across Florida and beyond. I'm not saying I know the answer to everything. I don't. I know what I know and I know what I don't know. And I know people who know what I don't know. So together as a network, we're going to help you and we're going to keep you hooked up. Okay. Is there a fee? Minimal. Come on, cup of coffee a month, whatever. What's it worth to you? 
If you're not willing to do that, what are you doing? What's a gallon of gas in your boat worth? Think about all of that. It's straight up info designed to make you a more successful angler. No fluff. I'm giving it to you right here on and off the water. Okay, you've got to check it out. There's a free trial. You don't like it, don't pay. It's that simple. Check it out for a day. Walk in the door and see what you think. Okay, taste the milk. Um, it's fsftv.com. Again, it's Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus. Make sure you watch Warp Speed Wahoo.